All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining today. And uh, today's topic is uh, for our down payment assistance program. There's two different ones, one for New York City and one for New York State. We'll go over both of them and we'll tell you what the program does, who qualifies for it, and what are the requirements. And uh, to get started, I'm going to play this video first. You can receive up to $100,000 rewards to your first home uh, purchase. Right? for one person and sometimes I feel like I have to move space I guess because I'm used to you know sharing an apartment with other people I always knew I needed uh, to save for a down payment but I didn't really know where to go from there I started to Google and I found first and that's how I got into finding the resources that I need to understand. I mean, people will just think that it's financial, but it's not. There's so many other things that you have to do, steps you have to take. Home first really and narrows it down to okay, here's what you need, here's what you have to do, and then it's kind of smooth sailing for me. Okay. My parents immigrated from the Dominican Republic. You know, they sacrificed a lot for me, and I always felt like, you know, well, there has to be something I can do that shows them, hey, thank you for all the sacrifice that you made to help me succeed. And I think owning a place was always part of that. <laughs> all right, guys. So. As a realtor, uh, if a buyer is asking you, hey, do you know any, you know, um, you know, down payment assistance programs, you should tell them, yes, I know of Home First. Okay? And what is Home First uh, down payment assistance program? It is a assistance program by the New York City, by right? the five boroughs that's uh, basically giving money towards people who qualify to help them with their down payment, right? So it provides up to $100,000. It can be for one to four family home. It could be for a condo or co-op, but it must be in the five boroughs in New York City. Okay. So who's eligible for this? Must be a first time home buyer. They must have not uh, purchased a property in the last three years. Okay. So they must go through a training that uh, a home buyer education course that New York City requires them to, you know, get uh, a certificate out of, from there. Right? These are HPD approved uh, council agencies, which will give you the addresses later on. Right? You must have your own savings, right, to put down uh, with your down payment as well. They'll assist you, but you still need some money from your side too. Right. It must meet the income guidelines, which we'll go over what are the limits. Okay. It must make a minimum down payment of 3% of the purchase price. Okay. And 1% of the contract deposit must be sourced from the buyer's own funds. So they can take, they must have at least 1% uh, in their bank account from their you know own savings. Okay must purchase one through four uh, family unit, like we said, condo, co-ops. And as we said, the buyers do their own inspections, right? But the city wants their own inspection done as well, right? And they must uh, probably must pass that inspection, right? They're pretty much checking everything like uh, standard, but they just wanna make sure if the house is livable and it's in, you know, within their standards. Okay. So if you do qualify, you get the money, you must live there for at least 10 years, right? If the loan that you're receiving is less than $40,000. Or you must live there for 15 years if the loan is greater than $40,000. Okay. So the maximum income, household income, right, are these numbers. So if the family size is just one person, cannot exceed $66,000. If it's two, 
cannot be 76, and so on and so forth. All right. So the process is that uh, the home buyer must go through the counseling agency first, right? And these agencies are in every borough. So they're located in Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, and Staten Island. Okay. Step one, present the certificate, right? To the lender that they, uh, the school will tell you which lender will approve these uh, uh, loans, right? So you wanna provide that certificate to that loan officer. Step two, after receiving pre-approval from the lender, right? You're gonna check with your real estate agent as a buyer, but this is where you kick in. You're already advising them of that program. So they're gonna come back to you, right? And they're gonna hire a real estate lawyer and negotiate. This is with the seller, but this is where the realtor is also coming in and negotiating, right? Right. And these are the steps that we set. It's pretty much the same as purchasing a house, but they're involved now. So you can think of them as like a board, just like if you're purchasing a condo, like they want to make sure that you qualify, the property is good, and then they will give you that. Uh, those funds, right? And they do have a purchase uh, price, right? Purchase price limits. So if you're in Bronx and you're looking for one unit, it cannot go higher than 523. If it's two units, 669, right? So if you're in Queens, 546. For one unit, 699 for two units. And so on and so forth, right? So this is your New York City program. If you're in Long Island, right, or any other part of uh, the state, the state has a program as well, right? It's called, it's two programs that they have. One is Achieving the Dream and one called Low Interest Rate, right? Achieving the uh, Dream, these are, you know, the benefits, 30 years fixed rate, no points, down payment requirement low as, low as 3%, right? Minimum money that they must have put down from their own self is 1% or 3% for co-ops. Right? Again, the same as the New York City one is available for one to four families for co-ops and condos. No prepayment penalties. That means they can pay off the loan uh, way beforehand without paying any penalties. So interest rate locks, they can do it for 120 days or 240 days for new construction properties. Okay, and the interest rates for the state are as follows. So achieving the dream mortgage program without any down payment assistance program is 3.875. Whereas with down payment assistance program is 4.2. Five zero, right? So if they're getting assistance, they're gonna pay more interest rate. Okay. So for low interest rate uh, program, again, without down payment is four point two five, and with down payment assistance is four point six two five. Okay. You can see which lenders. Right. All this, all these pages that I'm uh, sh showing you up here, I'll share them in the group messages. Okay. So again, two different programs, one for New York City. If your clients are in Queens, Bronx, Brooklyn, you know, you want to guide them through this, see if they qualify. Uh, you want to know these things. Maybe you can send them the links directly and let them review it. Or if they're in Long Island anywhere and they you think they qualify or they need assistance, then I would give them uh, New York State uh, websites programs, right? All right, guys, questions, concerns? 
Yeah, I have a question. Yes. Um, so, what is it? Uh, when do they, like, do you know how or when do they give the money towards the thing? Like, so, like, yeah, they show you, they show you for the pre to get your pre approval, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, does the do they pay you out the money like during like closing or like at the closing like, at the closing, at the closing? Mm -hmm. like right here look so this program right here that was a good question so look a few last few steps right reserve front for closing okay, receive from. closing yeah commitment letter confirmation for the closing date release funds for closing so we'll be at the closing okay and i said you have like the person has to live there for like about 10 years right yeah 10 years if they're getting a loan for less than forty thousand dollars or if they're getting uh, assistant for less than forty thousand dollars right here or mm -hmm. they must live there for 15 years if the loan is greater than forty thousand dollars so the greater than forty thousand do you know what like does does a state anywhere if it says uh if it's greater you know if it's greater than forty thousand like what's the max they can get hundred thousand Hundred thousand, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And I want to ask Mr. Ali and Diana. Both of them went through this program. So, Mr. Oh. Ali, you want to share your experience? How was that? I did a program like, like two or three years ago. It was a little different. I was mm -hmm. an agent and another person from exit came with the offer and like nobody wants to take these programs because we're not sure about it it's not um, very very much outside here so people are a little skeptical about accepting the program but i did it i was convinced to do it and it closed like a, no a normal um, closing the program was real it was it went through okay. They did inspection, they did appraisal, and it works fine. And just last week, just last week I had a bank who came and see me at the office with the same program. And from him, I learned about the program and I did some research on my own. I got the link and the program with the city is helping. Uh, first time from buyers and it's true if you this guy will qualify but he has to live in the house for 15 years so he need to um i take him as a client but starting to work with him right now uh it is real it is there but not everybody accept it it's kind of hard to find them who are going to accept it Mm -hmm. And they were putting three and a half percent of hundred thousand is true. You can use it for down payment, you can use it for closing costs, attorney costs. I think they provide attorney assistance also. Mm -hmm. And they they have to do some type of education, some type of little training to mm -hmm. qualify. If you are applying for this this assistance. I think you have to do like a, a whole course with them. Yeah, so it's a counseling them. agency. Yep, yep. Yeah, like like three or four classes, and you have to prove and show them income. They know your pay stubs. They know where you stand. They know everything, expense, everything, and they will provide you a bank, and that bank will provide you a, a pre-approval. You don't have to do all this, so long as you go mm -hmm. through them and they qualify you for the assistance. They're taking care of everything. Everything have to go through them. Yeah. So just search, find them the house. They must get a realtor who understands the program and who can explain it when you when we put in an offer, how good the program is. So the realtor really is the person who could get them the house. Yep. That's my experience. And that was just last week. Yep. That all just, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this buyer, he works for... Um, he tell me finance. So the guy know figures pretty good. He was working for less than a hundred thousand a year, and he qualified. Mm -hmm. And he qualified for a hundred thousand. So he was within a bracket. They'll give you a range in Queens, maybe maybe six fifty 
In Brooklyn, maybe up to 700,000. In mm -hmm. Long Island, maybe up to 550. They give you a range where they're looking. Yeah. Get all this information, and then you can start working with them. Yep. That sounds good. I mean, the only difference that we can look at these steps here, right? Everything else is the same. It's just that they want you to, you know, go through the education. So as a home buyer, you, you know what they're looking for, right? And I believe it's 10 hour class there. So once you get that certificate, then, then, you know, they look at your file, just like a board would just to confirm that you're eligible They will you know, check your income, you know, make sure that, you know, you're in the bracket. Uh, and stuff like that and they will give you a certificate for that you know and then then the bank will take that certificate and your education and then say hey yes we give you a pre-approval and from there it's just just like a regular transaction but at the closing and the home inspection they want to make sure they're part of it as well you know just to make sure that the house there's no issues there and uh, you know obviously it's livable and stuff like that you know and then they will release the funds at the closing when they feel like you know they they are confident that you know you qualify for everything so there are a few steps but as realtors i think anybody that you feel like uh, uh, is asking you for it always tell them that hey your step number one is to get education and that is through going through a counseling agency so you should know this page and you should guide them with these addresses you know if you give them that first step and they you know actually start taking it most likely they will come back to you when they need a, a realtor you know, when they're saying, hey, go pick your realtor, this is when you're kicking in. But before that, you want to guide them, hey, go to a counseling uh, agency. They'll give you all the requirements and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, give them the addresses. Right? A question. Mm -hmm. um, since this requires a up to a minimum of 3% down, right? From your own uh, mm -hmm. pocket. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of loan would this be considered? Like a FHA, conventional, what, or is it like his own? Uh... I think for the New York City, it, it will not be conventional. I think they might be FHA, but I could be wrong. But you know, I think the once they're on that step, then then the loan officer would tell them what type of loan they're getting. But uh, I was gonna say, like, yeah, you know, it can be twenty percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know how the FHA, like you have the PMI for. Mm -hmm. until you refine um i was wondering if that's the same case for this yes yes i did read that is in here that it is uh yeah it is if it's less than uh 20 percent pmi is definitely there but i don't know what and, yeah type of loan it will, they will give them do you know if uh, people are are they able to refinance and stuff uh, in the future if they wanted to put more down how does that work with the the loan that they got but refinance i don't know how long they have to wait that's a good question now once they do get the loan you know they purchase they then you know i think that would be depending on the bank and their you know their terms but i don't know the requirements for uh renewals right or for refinance sorry mm -hmm. right i'll try to find that out for you yeah but even though if they refinance remember you have to stay in the house 10 years if you were to get 40,000 and less that's true or 50 yeah. 40,000 and above good point yeah yeah so be it yeah yeah residency requirement yeah so yeah because of that i'm pretty sure you can't refi right or if you refi you are telling them you're going to stay there for at least 15 years so that's a problem right that's why I was wondering, like, cause is it like 10 years again from the refi date or is it, you know, would it still be, so let's say five years later, you try to refi it, right? And then does it go back, add on another 10 years or does it like, you know? Yeah, I'm not does, too sure. Mr. Ali, you, would you? Yeah, listen, you know? there is no literature that says that, right? For now, what is there and what I have read or what Lucky has read is that they're giving you the loan. They reach no part where you could refinance or if you're going to start over or not. Um, if you, if I have to take a educated guess, I say, I will think it wouldn't start over. You have to stay 15 years regardless of what. If you want to sell after 15 years, you get that. 
You know, if you refinance or if you have cash money, you want to pay off the loan or something, I sure something like that could work. But for the people who don't have, the requirement is to stay 15 years before you sell. A lot of people will ask for this help. They will get it and think they could refinance and sell and make a profit and move on. The city is very smart, right? They know they have clause that prevents this. Yeah, that's a good point. Yep. Yep, yep. Any other questions, concerns, guys? Uh, Lucky, can you please uh, share the link for both of them, state as well as the city one, please? Yeah, I will. Yep, I'll send Thanks. that over. Mm -hmm. And this PDF file too, okay? I'll share that with everyone. I should answer your questions. All right, guys. Uh, lucky one more thing this this these houses where they're getting help with hi these houses have to be up to standard eh? they cannot mm -hmm. cannot sold as a regular sale everything have to be fha standard mm -hmm. you know? and reels yeah. have to be secured you have to be um everything have to be in working order yeah no contingency and thing like a normal sale this mm -hmm. is a, you know a, a insure loan you're getting so, yeah they checking this uh, with a fine teeth comb. So if the seller knows about it or the seller agent know that you're going through a program, of course, he's gonna tell the seller, you know what? No, this is a this is a government loan. Everything have to be a hundred percent thing. So, you know, you have to be more educated in it when you're presenting your offer. Correct. And uh, another point on that is like you cannot buy or sell to a family member. If that's the case, you do not qualify for that too. That's written somewhere too that, you know, you cannot buy from your family member, you know, uh, at all. So it has to be someone that you don't know. All right, guys, any other questions, concerns? Wait, so you're saying you can't be the agent for a family member? No, no, the buyer and the seller, right? They can be, cannot be related. Oh, okay, gotcha. The buyer and the seller. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. If there's no questions, concerns, you guys can get it going one by one. Tomorrow meeting, it's uh, for our goals and actual numbers. So please do attend. If not, have a good day. Good luck. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.